G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video I will be previewing State of Origin Game 2, which means you will get all my predictions and a brief rundown of the game. Now in Game 1, Queensland got the job done 38-10. to I thought Queensland were a little bit flat in that game. I actually thought the Blues played quite well. I thought they were brave in that game despite playing with 12 men for a very good majority of it. Now, uh, I won't talk team lists too much here. We'll just talk about some of the changes. So for the Blues, they welcome back Dylan Edwards. Well, he's making his debut, but he was supposed to debut in game one. Tedesco is out. Joseph Suwali'i obviously suspended, which means Latrell Mitchell comes in there. Nico Hines has been dropped. Mitch Moses steps up in the number seven jersey. Uh, Cameron Murray comes in for Cam McInnes. And then off the bench, you've got Connor Watson in and Hudson Young out. So a pretty good lineup there for the Blues. Mitch Barnett is the 18th man. For the Maroons, Couple of changes, mainly to the bench. So, obviously, Reese Walsh, all good to go for the Maroons. He will play fullback. Then off the bench, Selwyn Cobbo and Jermaine Hopgood are out. They welcome in Felice Carfusi, who was activated as the 18th man in Game 1. And uh, Kurt Capewell, which was definitely a shock to me. But uh, I, I would say a welcome inclusion by a lot of Queensland fans. Maybe not so much to others, but uh, I think he'll do a job. Dane Gagai is the 18th man. All right, so that's pretty much the team list done and dusted. Let's talk about some key matchups. Now, I do want to give an honorable mention to one key matchup. Uh, Latrell Mitchell against Val Holmes, I think, will be a juicy one. However, I haven't quite added that in due to the fact that it's not confirmed that those two will be matching up against each other. Slater or Maguire could move around his, their centres, so we just don't know yet, but I'm assuming that will be the matchup. All right, my top three matchups for the game. I think the battle of the fullbacks is going to be incredible. You've got Reese Walsh taking on Dylan Edwards. I think that will be a very juicy matchup there. Uh, both players, I would say quite different, but at the same time, extremely elite in their positions. I think they are both uh, the best choice fullbacks for each state. So uh, I think this one could be a very good matchup there. So Reese Walsh against Dylan Edwards, juicy matchup. That is my first one. My second one is the halfbacks. Daly Cherry Evans against Mitch Moses. Daly Cherry Evans is in my opinion, one of the best game managing halves in the comp. Just his footy IQ and his kick selections are just incredible. And I think we saw that in game one. He definitely outplayed um, Nico Hines in that uh, that area. Just just the differences in you know kicking options really played a massive part in that game. Uh, I think New South Wales do bring in Mitch Moses to help with that. And I do think that it will be a very, very interesting matchup, these two. I think this is going to be like with the, with their kick placements and, you know, their timing and just, just basically the IQ of both these two players in terms of uh, tactical kicks and stuff like that. I think will be incredible. It's going to be like a chessboard, these two going at it. So uh, that'll be a very interesting matchup. In my opinion, I think uh, Mitch Moses was the right guy to bring in for the Blues. And Daly Cherry Evans is going to do what he always does. So, good matchup there. Uh, then, the Battle of the Locks. I've got Paddy Carrigan up against Cam Murray here for my final matchup. I think this one's going to be very, very good to see. Both players are, you know, leaders of the future. Cameron Murray obviously leads his club. And Paddy Carrigan is definitely in the leadership group for the Broncos. So both players, I think, will be future leaders of our competition. I think I, I, 
I do believe that both these two will captain Australia and their states at some point in their career. I really do believe that. So, you know, leadership wise, I think these two are going to lead by example for their state in game two. I think both of them are going to get through a load of work, make plenty of tackles, plenty, run for plenty of meters. This is going to be, you know, they're going to carry their team. They're going to put the team on the back. They're going to carry them. They're going to do that hard stuff that, you know, that those small little things that a lot of people don't see, these two will be doing them. They're going to make heaps of tackles. They're not going to miss many, and they're going to run for a hell of a lot of meters. So that, they are my three key matchups in this one, guys. Let me know your key matchups down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you in that one. But the moment you've all been waiting for, in my opinion, the one that I think that you guys, you, look, some of you might have watched the whole video, and I appreciate you if you have. Comment down below, soft like butter, if you've watched this whole video up until now. I'll see who the real ones are. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So predictions, my predictions for game two. We're going to go through first try scorer. I'll give you my anytime try scorer match result, uh, including the margin, obviously, and then my player of the game. So we're going to get through this section pretty quickly here. Uh, first try scorer, some honorable mentions. I think Zach Lomax is a bloody good uh, pick for this one. I also think that uh, players like Val Holmes, uh, you know, you've got, I reckon even Dozer, Benny Hunt could definitely be up there for it. But my pick for first try scorer is the Hammer. Hammer so tabua for though. I just, I can't go past him. I think he's going to have an absolute blinder in this game. He had a great game one. I think he's going to back that up with a solid game two. And I think he scores the first try here for Queensland. Um, my anytime try scorer, again, plenty of players that you could look at here. A few forwards. Jeremiah Nanai is definitely one you've got to look at. Uh, I think players like Kim Murray, Pat Carrigan, I think both of them could definitely score tries for their state. Uh, but my anytime try scorer, I'm going to go Latrell Mitchell. I reckon he scores at least one try in this game. You know, the state of the cool there to him. New South Wales has said, Latrell, come help us, mate. And I think he's going to deliver in a big way. I reckon he scores a try for the Blues. All right. They're my try scorers. Let's talk about match result. Now, obviously, I'm a Queenslander. Got my jersey down here. Didn't want to wear it for the video. You can see it there. There we go. Didn't want to wear it for the video. The reason I didn't want to wear it is I wanted to remain neutral just for this video. But stuff all that, we all know I'm backing in the Mighty Maroons to win this one. 20 points to 18, a two-point margin. I think it'll be a very, very close game. But I've got the Mighty Maroons winning. And because I've got the Maroons winning, you know I had to back it up. I said the same thing in game one. I got it wrong. I think Paddy Carrigan gets the man of the match. I've just I've just got a feeling, guys. I've just got a feeling. So go on Paddy Carrigan to get man of the match. But I'd love to hear your predictions, guys. Drop them down below in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your origin footy. Can't wait to hear from you. Let's bloody go.